All right, so today I am trying to implement Opus 4.5 into Polymarket. Polymarket is a prediction market where you can pretty much trade anything. And when I say anything, like the number of tweets Elon is going to have on November 28th, um, the second largest company by the end of November, the highest grossing movie. It's pretty fun. And I think there's a lot of edge for retail here. Um, I think it's still gambling if you look at it from a sports side and a crypto side. So Ethereum above or below. This is just kind of leverage trading. Uh, sports, a lot of emotional people. I know a lot of people don't agree with that, and that's fine. Um, but I remove all sports and and crypto out of what I look at. Ignore sports, ignore crypto. Now the tags aren't the best on their API, so um, it doesn't ignore all of them, but it ignores some of them. I use this all the time to see... This is free, by the way, to see the big traders here. But essentially, I have a couple bots that I run that use this swarm agent. So this swarm agent here, essentially, let me just go ahead and show it to you. It's all on GitHub. You just go to SRC here, AI Agents Munda, type that into Google or go to the link in the description below, bro. Go ahead and go to Agents here and then go to Polymarket Agent here. And everything I'm about to show you here is on this agent but the thing is is this goes ahead and looks at all the big traders so i have predictionbots.com that looks at the big traders as well if you want to look at it by hand but essentially i'm looking at all the big traders or the agents are the agents are looking at the big traders okay and then they're saying hey should we take this trade yes or no now is that a great way to do this i don't know we'll see this is so new but i think it's interesting to have their perspectives that's actually something else i want to do i want to enter or implement web search, web search into the agents. So let me just go ahead and show you an agent first, the agent flow. And you saw where to get that code, right? Polymarket agent. Uh, this is that GitHub that is in the description. I go to SRC here, just like I showed you on GitHub. And then we go to agents here. Okay. And then where do we go? Yep. Polymarket agent. Here we go. So if I open this up and I run it, it's going to ask an AI swarm, so multiple AIs, what to do based off of the data it has. It says Claude Haiku, ready, um, Grok, ready, O1 min, Mini, ready, Gemini 2.5, Flash, ready, et cetera, et cetera. But we want to use Opus now. So I'm going to put Opus in this flow, dude, because why wouldn't I? Let's go ahead and implement Opus 4.5 into the polymarket agent. So now there'll be another response. I think there's six right now. Now there'll be seven. So you can see here, let's go ahead and run it. I'm using Opus 4.5 up here to build this out and add it to my thing. You can see responded models. Okay, so it says, should I take the, it says, should I take this or that trade based off of the data that you have? And then it gets a market consensus. So the all six AIs tell me no trade, yes or no. You can see this guy said no on market three, no trade on market two, no trade on market one. Okay. And that was GPT-5 mini. Quinn, no trade on market one, which is a college basketball. Uh, market two, he says no, because they have three options. Yes, no, or no trade. And market three, they said no. So you can see Claude here no trade, no trade, and then no. So then we have a consensus. So we have six of those. And then a consensus goes through and you can see where she makes her choices. No trade, no trade, and then no. So these two, there's going to be no trade. But this one, it looks like she might be adding a position. Well, actually, these are the top five consensus picks here. So you can see it goes through multiple multiple filters here in order to try to make the best picks possible. You know, this is AI, so it's like, this is very uh, early and are they right? That's the question. What data are you giving them? None of this is plug and play, so don't grab the GitHub if you think you're just gonna plug it in and make a million dollars, because you're not. You gotta bring your own edge. There's risks to this. Please do read this, pause the video now, just for like 30 seconds and just read through this and then we can all just keep, keep it pushing. All right, thank you, much love. So now we're gonna, it went ahead and made the analysis and then I just crashed my computer. Wow, we're going so hard that I just crashed cursor, dude. Let's go ahead and get it back up. Oh my goodness, they do that, dude. I swear they do that on purpose. 
if you if you don't update they just crash you and they make you update that was a forced update right there bro that was a forced update dude a little aggressive a little aggressive cursor a little aggressive it's a little aggressive bro could have asked me could have said hey please 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 update me i don't want to crash your whole system but then she crashed my whole system but it's okay because now you have time in order to read this disclaimer thank you all right so let's get back here it just opened every single cursor back up let's go ahead and close this here and the first thing I want to do here is you saw it run already. You understand the premise. Now let's go ahead and check in since she did crash my thing. I need to go ahead and see if we can get it going again with Opus 4. You can see I'm on Opus 4. Okay, so we wanted to update this Polymarket agent here to have Opus 4.5 as one of the options. So now not just six, but seven different AIs. And honestly, I can do this simply. Uh, I don't know why I rely on AI for everything. It's just almost habit at this point. So essentially, this lives off the AI swarm. So if I go over to the swarm, I can go ahead and update it. So the swarm agent is also in the GitHub. Link in the description, agents, and then you go to there you go. So we got Opus 4.5 now. You see, I had to update the swarm. The swarm is sick because I can pull this into any, 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 any piece of code, a script, bot, website, whatever. It doesn't matter. I pull it in and I have seven opinions and including Opus 4.5 now. So I'm applying it to Polymarket and I've shown you a few bots here live on YouTube. So go check those out. I also built this free tool for everybody because I think it's interesting and it should get your mind going on algorithms you could build. So you can see Opus is here. Let's go ahead and run it now. You can see now our swarm has DeepSeek Chat, XAI, Grok4, Open Router, Quen3, Stonet 4.5, Opus 4.5. Okay, and let's see. Did it initialize the Opus okay? Let's check it out. Okay, Opus right here. Nice. Seven models are going through this data and they're trying to figure out which market to buy. Yes, no, or no trade. So I give them three options. There's been some beautiful, beautiful suggestions from you guys. So please throw the fire in the chat when you think of them. Essentially, one great idea is let's implement web search so these agents can get more fresh data. Of course, dude, that makes so much sense. Here's Opus here. So she said no trade on market one, sporting CP cover, negative 1.5. Whatever she said, reasoning for a no on market two. So no trade means no trade. No means take the no side. Reasoning Leeds United facing Chelsea would be a significant mismatch if this is a cup fixture. Chelsea's quality should prevent a Leeds win. Making no the safer position. Thunder has the best teams this season with strong home court advantage. See, I don't want her to be trading sports, dude, because I don't know. I just think sports are too emotional and I'm a sports guy. But like if you're trading, if you're betting on sports, you're probably betting your team. A lot of the time you can see the consensus here. But look how quick Opus whipped this up. So this was just a nice little update. So if you want to go ahead and get the GitHub, I'm going to update it right now. Git add dot, git commit slash M. What did we do today? Well, we implemented Opus 4.5 to Swarm Agent. If you think about it, I didn't make any changes here to the Polymarket agent. Polymarket agent still just sits there and looks for the big traders, kind of like predictionbots.com. 
I would suggest looking at this and just coming up with ideas. I put my ideas in here low key. Sweeps number one. Okay, how do you find new markets? Well, I look at sweeps, big trades. And that's exactly how the poly market agent does it as well. She looks for big trades. Opus 4.5, will you please go ahead and, and shortly and concisely explain the poly market agent for everybody viewing? Thank you. So get commit implemented Opus 4.5 to swarm agent. As I said, I didn't have to change the poly market agent much because I just changed the swarm agent. Now there's going to be a new model probably tomorrow and the next day and the next day. So this is going to get better and better. And that's why I'm so excited to be a data dog right now, a developer like you, because AI is just going to get better and better and better. And we benefit the most from it. As long as you're stepping on the gas and you're throwing some ideas, spaghetti at the wall, it's okay. Just use it every day because the AI is only going to get better. And we just plug it in like this. It took me 10 minutes to plug it in. I put it into the swarm agent. And now we all have it. Get push. Get push. All right, now it's all on the GitHub, I believe. Let's go here and verify. Okay, the link's in the description or type in AI agents to Google. Go ahead and click SRC, implemented Opus 4.5 to Swarm Agents. So I have all of these agents here. There's 20 plus. They say I got more than the FBI. Swarm Agent implemented 4.5. You see, I turned it on as well. So Opus, boom, boom. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And now this code is here forever live. I believe code is a great equalizer. Let's go ahead and explain it really quickly for you. Here's a quick overview of your poly market agent, Mundo's poly market prediction agent, what it does, tracks real time trades on poly market, a prediction market platform and uses an AI swarm of seven different models to analyze and predict outcomes, key features, WebSocket streaming. So this is free from poly market. We capture the trades over 500 in real time. So similar to this here, I'm capturing trades over a couple hundred dollars. If I wanted to be 500, I would change it to that. And then I can open this up. And if I see crazy stuff like this guy just said no on interstellar aliens being confirmed. OK, well, that's probably a good guess. And there might be some edge there. I don't know. But being able to watch all the big traders, that's exactly what the poly market agent is doing. But there's other things you can do too, like look at the whales only, big, big size, or look at no markets only, like that a lot. Edge markets where there's actually some edge still. It's not already close or close to closing. The closing time is cool too if you want to gamble. Clusters are interesting. These are a bunch of people buying things, and I can see a bunch of people are trading in this lighter market. Okay, Russia times Ukraine. Then we got the silly little bubbles, but they're kind of fun. This just shows you the markets that are traded. I don't know. I think this is a great way to come up with new algo ideas, and then I bring it back to the code because if you can visualize it, then if you're seeing it all day, that's why I have this stuff on my screen. I have all of these trades and things on my screen for that reason right there. Because if I can see the data all day, I can see the order books start to whip up. I can kind of make different algorithms in my mind. Smart filtering ignores crypto and sports for the most part and near resolved bets closest to zero or one. So if it's almost resolved, I don't even look at it. AI swarm analysis queries seven models. Claude, Sonet, and then Opus 4.5. That's what we added today. And we already put it on the GitHub. Deepsea, Grok, Quen, GLM, GPT-5, Mini, all in parallel. Consensus picking a final AI analyzes all responses to identify the top five markets with the strongest agreement. And we track it all on a CSV so you could theoretically look at all of this data here in a csv but i think it's just better to look on the inner how it works connect to the websocket filters and stores and every five minutes it checks for new markets to analyze and now we have claude 4.5 opus style 
and I think this is a game changer. So if you have any questions, feel free to jump in the Discord. I have this free roadmap here that will show you around the algorithmic trading industry so you can get your feet super wet. I show you how to code, how to build a bot, etc. This is free and then you can come inside of our Discord as well. I'll answer a bunch of your questions with the frequently asked questions, the RBI system which I follow every single day, a book list. This is all free. Probably the thickest roadmap in the world. It's like a ever-growing book. So feel free to grab that. That's accessible if you just go to my website below. The website is called algotradecamp.com. Click this link. Go learn about it. This is the fast track to success. Put your name and email in and you get the roadmap for free. Don't worry about the boot camp. It's not for 99% of people. It's only for the real data dogs. Go get the free roadmap. You can kind of test this industry out. And if you're a data dog, I'll see you in the members area.